Hi, this is Sonia with the Inspired Pen, and I am going to do a product walkthrough on this junk journal that I just completed, um, actually this morning, um, and I'm just trying to get the walkthroughs done as quickly as I can as I'm producing these books because I have a big line of them that I'm doing with the um, end of my bolt of leather, this particular leather. Um, as it is the end, end of the bolt, it has a lot of really unusual shapes from where they, you know, were cutting it. And so I didn't want to waste that in any way. And I thought, well, I can just make these really unusually shaped covers for them and then just build the book into it, which is what I've done. These are removable signatures in here so you can rebuild signatures for it. I try to make my leathers uh, so you can reuse them instead of just having it for the one book and then have to buy a whole new one because um, the leather is kind of costly. So um, I have put a spine dangle on this one with cute little fish. It's all themed toward the theme of the book, which is raining cats and dogs. It's a paper line that I got and I loved it. And I thought this is going to be perfect for this. So I have a lot of lamp work beads on here, little bones, little cat, um, a little paw print, um, cute little dog. I think you can see that. Yeah. Cute little puppy lamp work bead and then um, bingo markers and to go along with that theme of raining cats and dogs I also put on a tiny little umbrella I just thought that was just really cute um, overall the paper has like reds and greens and then this gorgeous turquoise and then this really creamy color that I really absolutely loved and um, it's very vintage looking which I also love um, so four signatures, 20 pages each, um, with the exception of the lined one, I believe that one has 30 pages. And then there are also two pocket folders in this book as well. It makes it really chunky. As you can see, there's, it's really chunky, but I made the closure so that it can get chunkier and you can still close it. No problem. So the very first signature, um, is cat themed. So it's, uh, um, it's two cat themed signatures, one cat themed folder, two dog themed signatures, one dog themed folder, just to go along with the paper line. So this one's cat themed and I decorated the front of that. And then this has my tea stained paper in it. And then I paper clipped little postcards and other little ephemera pieces in there. There is a flip in the center of every signature and a few more decorative pieces in there. And like I said, I paper clipped some other little ephemera pieces in there. This is the first folder. This is the dog folder and it has all the dog, extra dog themed stuff that I um, put in there. Um, I always try to, you know, if I didn't use a particular piece, I thought I, I cut it out. I thought I was going to use it. I didn't end up using it. I always try to throw them in with the book th that I am selling just because it matches. And then that's less things that the buyer would have to look for. Then this is the first dog signature and it has that really lovely burlap with the gorgeous little turquoise dots on it that match the beautiful pleated ribbon here. And it, this one has my, um, it's a tea stained paper, but the, the tea didn't take really well on it. I tried using blood orange tea and the, the color I wanted it to come out with, it didn't, but I really liked the effect. It did kind of this watercolory kind of rained on effect, which I just really love with this theme of the book because it, the theme is raining cats and dogs. So it has all of these different, you know, drips and stuff like that on it. And it's really just a fabulous lined paper to put into this book. This also has a flip there with some ephemera there. Put little postcards clipped in. And then this would be the next dog themed one. And this one has the tea stained paper in it. And again, more things clipped in plus the flip with some more really nice little pieces in there. And my tea stain paper never comes out the same. So there's always a lot of variety in my, in my books because my tea stain paper never comes out the same. And I kind of like that. I kind of appreciate that actually. Um, this is the cat folder. And so it is loaded with, you know, cute, cute, cute little, little cat pieces that came out of the kit. 
and some extra tags and stuff. It really has, there's a lot of pieces in there. And then this is the last signature, and this would be the last cat signature. And this is just plain paper in this one with extra little things tucked in here. Um, another flip with some ephemera pieces, more of those cute little postcards. And there you have it. That is my latest that I think is just absolutely adorable. I actually debated on whether or not I was going to sell it or keep it. I think I'll just make my own because um, I do have more of this paper. So um, yeah, this one, I am as much as I love it, I'm going to sell it. Um, so this will be listed on my Etsy um, probably by end of day today, if not tomorrow, so soon. And um, there'll be some actual still shots on Etsy. I mean, even if you just want to look at it and not purchase, there are going to be still so still shots on my Etsy shop. So you can kind of look more in depth at the, at the covers of this in case you're just looking for ideas and you want to see something that looks really pretty because this is really pretty. And, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day. Thank you.